So this is a job report today. We got four different sections we're doing here. We got a patio here. We got a little basement here. Luke's down there, following the garage. And we got the house floor over here. Walls were done by the Joy Brothers here in Augusta, Maine. See Darren's down there, he's gotten on the edges. So I got the float blades off. You can see how flat, how flat that finish blade is. I want to crank that up just a little bit higher than that. We want it maybe a quarter, three eighths of an inch off the front edge off the ground. That way it doesn't dig in. So I'm just going to turn that clockwise a little bit. That cranks that blade up. That's just about where I want it. I can adjust that slightly up or down as I go, depending on how I feel. All right, so it's 11.05 right now. We got done pouring at 9.30. So it's just getting about ready. We got the power trowel set down on it using the crane. There's still just a little, there's still just a little bit of bleed water on it. We're gonna wait for that to dry up for a few more minutes before we power trowel it. It's working up the, the surface. But to start with, you know, when the concrete's still kinda, kinda green like this, you don't need them up too high. If they're up too high, you're just gonna create more problems, you'll create humps what we call swirl humps where they'll, they'll just work up so much pace that they'll create a little hump and those are hard to get out afterwards so keep them as low as you can But it's it's getting it's getting ready soon so we want to make sure we're ahead of the head of the game we got the edges all mag floated if we if we take a look at if we take a look at how firm the concrete is right now yeah I can only I can only press in there about an eighth of an inch right now so it's still soft enough where I know I'm not behind but it's getting ready so this is when you want to this is when you want to stop being prepared to hit the floor now I could I could power trowel it right now, but the little bit of bleed water on the surface is going to create quite a bit of a slurry on the surface. So I don't really want that. And I know because I've done this so much, I know it's only going to take me about maybe five or 10 minutes to float this floor with, with the power trowel.
So this is how we finish the doorways once they harden up a little bit. We sometimes we'll mag them again and then trowel them. And then after we trowel them, we'll run a broom over it just to give it a little bit of texture. And then we'll run the edger back along the edge and then the doorways will be done. I'm using, I got combo blades on that power trowel. And when I first start floating, I call it floating the floor with a combo blades. When I hit it the first time, I only want to put a little bit of taper on those blades. I only want the front edge of the combo blades up maybe an eighth of an inch off the floor. I don't want them completely flat, but the, I only want about an eighth of an inch pitch. I want, I want the blades to stay pretty flat, but I need a little bit of pitch on them. So that's how we do it anyway. And then as the floor gets harder and harder each pass, I might increase the pitch of the blades a little bit, depending on how it's working up the paste on the surface. So we'll give this a few more minutes and then we'll stop power troweling.